What's up everybody? Diesel here once again. I'm bringing you the 24th episode of Final Fantasy 7 Remake. On the last episode... Let me just turn my heater off because that's a little loud for me. But on the last episode... Was pretty much one of the saddest episodes of this entire series. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse are dead. And not only are they dead, Shinra has dropped the Sector 7 plate on top of everybody just to try to kill us. And as you can see, they failed. They killed all them people for nothing. The people down in the slums. Anybody out there? And the people down or up top too. And now we're just trying to link up with Barrett. Hey! Can anybody hear me? Here goes. And push! <laughs> It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was Shinra that pulled the trigger to death. Am I right? His hands are just so huge compared to hers. Hold on to this. This anger, okay? Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. <sighs> and she did? You sure? Hey, where are you going? <sighs> I'm not crying, you're crying. All right. Come on, Barry. I'm gonna take you to see your daughter. And if I know this game like I think I know this game, Aerith took Marlene to her mom's house. And since Barrett, you're back on the team, buddy. You good old buddy, old pal. You, you my man. You're gonna need. You're gonna need some stuff. We have to get you a titanium bangle, my friend. But I think an iron bangle will suit you for just now. For right now. Let's get you some materia. 
So Barrett's kind of the tank, so let's make him a tank. Subversion, what the hell is this? Oh. Okay, we're gonna make him into like a saboteur, basically. Okay. Well, first off, let's do something. Oh, Tifa's got the elementals? Hold up. What does Tifa have equipped right now? She don't have the... She don't have elemental on. What the hell are you talking about, game? You lying to me, game. Building Barrett in this game is a little bit harder than building him in the original game. Because they actually make you want to use him in a certain way. Uh, let's see, let's see. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember, I remember. Sorry, guys. I'm <laughs> I'm all over the place, I know. Let's do that. We're going to add... That with the elemental. And then. Subversion. And then we're gonna add. The fat chocobo material to him. And for Tifa, since Aerith is gone momentarily, we're gonna give her the Shiva. Sound like a plan? Let's see what else we can do to bear it. Let's see, Fury Ring. Berserk status effect, immune to slow and stop. Immune to sleep. Let's give him immune to sleep. Okay, let's rock, let's roll. Enough introductions. But really, what a way to freaking start this episode off, How am I right? I didn't really think that. Oh, it's those two guards from before. Yeah, see? You see? Shimra don't care about you. They don't care about any of us. What do we do now? What you were hired to do. Get these people out of here. Yeah, whatever, dude. What the hell is going on? All of y'all need to get the hell out of here. In sector seven. When is hell going to arrive? Bad, but there's got to be some survivors. Uh, I wouldn't count on it. And if there is some survivors, they're far and few in between. But as far as I know, there aren't any. I'm afraid it is. This happened before when this city was being built. It was a nightmare just like this. Although a little fun fact, I recently. Oh, look who it is. Oh wait. Oh, I thought that was the uh, the teacher. It looked like her at first. But a little fun fact, guys. I recently watched Advent Children, the movie, the Final Fantasy VII movie, and um, Denzel is actually a survivor of Sector Seven. So it wouldn't be far fetched to say that there are some survivors, but Denzel is actually a survivor of the Sector Seven plates crashing down. And it's crazy, though. It really is. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that. That's not funny. Hey, Tifa. 
Know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> It's nothing. Let's go. Antifa, come on now. Come on, Bert. It's like there's a hole in the sky. All right, so let's see. Damn, how much you had to drink, son? We ain't missing no plate. I'm telling you, that quake I felt ain't no quakes neither. Is you being a drunken asshole? Are you kidding me? You are completely oblivious. Dude, it's right there. Like, you can see the sky now. Almost. Once the dust settles. Well, yeah. So other plates could just come down at any moment? What happened to Sector 7 was no accident. Someone dropped that plate on purpose. Hmm, there are some smart people. Not saying everybody down here is dumb. But I'm saying that people aren't oblivious. Not everybody's oblivious. Oh, I knew there had to be something around here. Wait, over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. <clears throat> Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Found them? We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. Uh, Anything? Nothing as of yet, sir. Okay, so where are we at? Oh, is this? Uh, oh, it's Wall Market. Okay. What's going on? They may have escaped. Did you find what you were looking for? Thanks to you, I did. Good. Now never let it go again. I need to prep for my next show. Are you kidding me? Uh, thousands of people just died, dude. I think one show. You can cancel one show. If you are gonna put on a show, at least we should put on one them. for the people who freaking died. What? Take a moment of silence, Jesus. The first thing we need to do is find a place to take you refuge. We have ways to take them out safely. Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. However, did it come to this? I have no idea. No idea. You guys run into Jesse at the villa? Yeah, Biggs too. They were both in pretty Let bad shape. Let me through, damn it! Let me through! But Wedge through. wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. No. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, no, he did not. 
I mean, it kind of leads... The way they showed his death, though, it's like... There is some possibility he got out, but... I'm sorry to say, he dies in the original game. So I would assume Square Enix would still kill him off in this. Only because... The only reason I say that Come is due to the now. fact that... There's no need to be afraid. We're all scared. Is the reason what that, um... Thinking, we gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. And this one's free of charge, Barrett. I'm gonna say it on Cloud's behalf, because apparently Cloud's not cool enough to fucking say it out loud. But anyway. <coughs> the reason I think they would still kill off Wedge is the reason the f um, that he still went back for his cats. It looked like he left. It shows him leaving, but apparently it shows him again going back to get his cats. And when he goes back, those ghost things were attacking him, which got him stuck in Sector 7. Thus, the plate dropped on him. Can I go this way? No, it won't let me. Okay. Alright, alright, you got me there. Let's just focus on getting to Eric's mom's house. And then, of course, her mom's gonna be all pissy with me, I'm sure. My ears are still ringing from it. This wasn't an accident, was it? Probably not. Not another bombing. And great, they're gonna blame it on us. It was all Avalanche's fault. They did it. This is Sector 5, right? So where's this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. Yeah, I know, Barry. I understand, man. I, I really do. We're gonna get to her, man. Calm down. I'm just glad there's no fighting right now. I mean, still like to do some. Fo oh. To ascertain the cause of the plate collapse and to determine if any other sectors are currently at risk. Officials currently believe that the bombing just of thinking of all the lives and lost. Hmm. There we go. They're gonna start blaming us. Sorry, hun. Not selling any food or water. That's fine. I'm just looking for some goodies. What you got? Cause I got plenty of money. <laughs> Set up the weapon shop too while we're here. Oh, no, no, right here. This dude. Did a plate really fall? Unfortunately, yes, sir. Yes, sir, it did. The hell's a gothic bangle? All I know is that thing does a lot. Damn, son. Look at this. Dude, I need this in my life. Like, right now. I need both of these in my life, honestly. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think I'm going to buy this. 
World's just too dangerous these days not to keep a weapon at your side. You don't even sell weapons. I mean, you do, but I bought them all, but that's beside the point. Give him that. Give Barrett this. There we go. Okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Guess that's something I can do. Um, yeah. And then for Cloud, oops. What can I give Cloud? Binding. You sleep. Silence. Berserk. Okay. Lot of different things I can use. You know, I'm gonna give him a luck. <coughs> Cloud needs some more luck lately. Now we go to Eric's house. Okay, so let's take a left and straight on. This place is really spooky at night. Way different than it is during the day. But Eric's house still looks pretty as ever. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Bear oh my god, Barry. Oh my god. I'm not trying to sound like that guy, but you can't just be breaking into people's houses like that. Where's Marlene? <laughs> is she here? Barrett. Calm down, dude. Sorry, I'm buried. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, 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 mm. Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. <sighs> She's sleeping. <laughs> I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. I know. Poor freaking El Elmira. I think that's how you say your name. Just sitting here chilling in her house, and then just three people barging in on her. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm going. I mean, last time I saw Marlene, she was scared of me, but you, you, you know. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. I didn't even do anything. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Wait, back there? Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that? Uh, actually, she no. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. 
if that's what you were wondering. <sighs> About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. Just like the original game. But she went every day. He didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Dude, that's fucking crazy as Things hell. like that. She'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, Who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <sighs> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others, an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! 
But all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. Wait, does Elmira not know about the plate? Take care of yourselves now. Take care of yourselves now. I'm glad she's being way nicer this time. Shit, look, there's a freaking item right next to her. Mythical amulet. What? What is this? I want to know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. Strengthen summons called forth in battle. Okay. Keep that in mind. We're gonna win this fight. I promise. So wait, is there another item over here, possibly? Mm, nope. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. You guys could have waited downstairs. I would not have been long. Nope, nothing up here. Alright. I just wanted to see if there was any goodies. Marlene holding out on us. But you can't blame her. She's kind of sleeping, so... So, back to Sector 7, I guess. Oops, oops. I'm hitting buttons and I don't know what I just did. Um, yeah. Oh, the Mughal Emporium! The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So, how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> Didn't mean anything by it. Now we gotta go see... My heart is still pounding. We gotta go see hi to my favorite kids. Other than Marlene, of course, Barrett. Uh, this way, I believe. Oh, what? I can't go in? What is this douchebaggery? Oh, man. Alright. Fine. So, I guess I gotta go...
Okay, that's the church and stuff. Alright, straight ahead. My right, ears this, are still ringing from it. This part, I believe, is different. I don't believe they ever went back to Sector 7, at least tried to, anyways. So this is all new. This is gonna be interesting. I really hope that one Over of them there. at least survived. And if any of them did, it's gonna be Wedge. Biggs and Jesse, I'm sorry, they... They pretty much died right in front of us, so... If they survive, that's a goddamn miracle. Like, Jesus Christ, you, you're recruited to the party. Here's all the material you're gonna need to survive, kid. Alright, let's keep moving. I swear, this still sounds like the freaking gummy ship music from Kingdom Hearts. Just remixed. You're dead. Damn, point blank, too. You got this! Let's move, move, move! Not so fast. Oh, please tell me I don't have to do all these puzzles again. Can I just walk right through it? Please tell me I can just walk right through it. I mean, it was fun the first time, but come on. Alright. Seems like I just walked straight through it. Maybe do a couple fights here and there. It's blocked. Duh. There, that way. We'll have to fight our way through. How'd you get over there, Barrett? Only shot. You weren't there a second ago, bro. How'd you teleport? I didn't give you no material that can do that. Oh, man. I don't know what's up with these headphones today, but they are really hurting my freaking ears. There we go. Just had to readjust them a little bit. Ooh, give me more of them. I want all the mega potions. Let's end this quick. <laughs> the hell are these things? I've never seen these before. Allow me. They become stronger sometime after battle starts, but they will return to normal after taking a certain amount of damage. All right, no one <laughs> You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so. Two pathways, huh? Oh wow, that was quick. Let's do this. Enemy skills can be learned from this monster. Okay. Now's our chance. You ain't gonna get away. And you're dead. That's so awesome. I don't care if it sounds terrible. I love it. Every single time. Guaranteed. Or your money back. Okay. 
there was honestly no reason to split these up, but okay. Other than to probably fight these guys. Ooh, some more. What the hell are you? What? Let me up. Let me get up. Okay, whatever. Die. There we go. Much better. These creatures start spinning when interrupted while in the state. They can just shrug off melee attacks, so use long range attacks instead. Stop them from spinning and they become susceptible. Okay. Can draw on that. Take the lead. Bring it home. I got this. Finish him off. And you're dead. Oh, no. damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so. Damn, we barely lost any life over this? What? You don't. What? Okay. Usually I'm like hurting for freaking HP right now. These motherfuckers can barely touch us. I'm not complaining or anything, I'm just saying. Wait, did I take a wrong turn? Nope. Oh, I did, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got some big boys! You really wanna throw down with me? Not sure if this one's any different than the other ones, but I'll go ahead and access it anyways. Or assess it and then access. What am I saying? After repeat attacks, the arm section goes into a rampage, inflicts a certain amount of damage to shut down rampage mode and fill its stagger gauge. Alright. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn! You dirty boy! Don't you let us Alright, he's dead. Shit, bro. You done goofed up this time, Barry. Oh, you too? What the hell? See, I, I had to talk all that shit. Now look at me. Get fucked up. Hang back. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Get fucked. Got a little, got a little dicey there for a second, but we, we pulled through. All the potions. Thank God I got plenty of them. Here, just take a cure. That makes it easier and faster.
heavy duty bracelet. Are you kidding me? That thing I just fucking bought? Are you fucking kidding me right now, bro? It really is. It is the same goddamn thing. I just spent 4,800 gil on that. And I just found it for free. Oh, you are a dirty whore. Dirty, dirty whore. That's all I'm saying. Dirty whore. Well, with that being said, we can at least give our buddy boy, Ferret, something else to play with here. Where's that auto cure at? We got an auto cure. Yeah. I mean, Eris not with us right now, so I don't think she'll mind if I use that for a little while. Wait a minute, did I just come from this way? Oh wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. Cloud, what are you doing? Go here, turn around. Yeah, there you go. Back it up, back it up. Back it up. Whoa. These guys must be like fucked up on some crazy drugs, man. They just wandering around. Oh, look, oh, oh, he run into shit, dude. Okay, it, it may not be drugs. He might just be drunk. Nah, it's gotta be drugs. That's some terrible attire, bro. You need, you need some fashion sense. Have you tried Giuseppe's dresses? They are very comfortable. Oh, these guys don't like fucking fire? You guys don't like fire? No. Oh, I got some fire for you. Here's a fire for you. <laughs> Worked up a good sweat. Where in the actual hell are we? I know we're in a tunnel. Frank tunnel. What the fuck? Oh, more bandits. No, Tifa, that was pretty on par. Pretty on point, should I say. Ooh, bottle of ether, yum yum. Oh, more assholes. Wait, oh, it's these guys. These guys again. You guys just always be freaking coming up. Alright. Feeling damage interrupts his attacks, but he soon counters with the throwing technique. Evading the attack and hitting him while his guard is down makes him susceptible. Just staggering. Alright, let's fucking do the damn thing. Oh! Oh! You good, Barry? Point blank, bitch. Oh! Overpower. Fucking <laughs> Tifa, bro. <laughs> Oh, as soon as I, as soon as I get it up. Oh, 
Oh, you're done now, son. Best attack. Oh, and I missed like a fucking idiot. Oh, staggered. <laughs> Nothing to it. <laughs> Oh, I'm learning, guys. I'm getting this combat down. I'm gonna be so powerful. I just gotta learn how to, you know, guard a little bit more. But other than that, I got this. Almost. There we go. Let's get the hell out of here. Are we going the right way? I hope so. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give it to me. Oh, I don't even use those. Oh, but, 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 can I? Can I? Can I? Thank you. Just like that, okay? I got ya. Damn, how much farther we got? Oh, we got a little bit of ways. Over there. <laughs> that a way out. I'm almost afraid to go back. Tifa. Uh. Come on. Well, we're gonna have to face it eventually. Hey, what's up, guys? Does it look like we can go this way? No. There's monsters everywhere. I'm pretty sure this ought to take us straight to the Sector 5 slot. Oh, this place. Wyma! You're alive! Still in one piece. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is I don't even know where to start. We need able-bodied men and women. We can't afford to lose any more lives. Not now. We need able-bodied men and women. This place got wrecked. This is bad. <sighs> oh, hey! I hope that all my friends are okay. I'm sure they are, honey. Don't worry. I really hope that all my... I'm sure they are, honey. Don't worry. I'm just glad that she made it out. I hope a lot of people made it out, honestly. This is crazy, because, like, this wasn't in the original game to see all the... Survivors of the Sector 7 thing. Never know what you're gonna run into out there. Best be prepared. Careful out there. Oh, I will be, trust me. Sector 7, huh? Yeah. Left a few things behind. You see. I know it's not much, but it's all I got. Oh, this guy. What's up, buddy? I'm glad you made it out, too. Ooh. 
Hello. Finally, a new weapon. And it's repair it nonetheless. Big Bertha. I will happily buy you. Wait, what new accessories you got? Ooh, start pendant. That's a good piece right there. I like that. Godspeed. Barrett, my good buddy, my good pal. Your proficiency is 100%. Now we can totally give you a new weapon. And we're going to upgrade it too. Oh, nope, nope, this one. Oh, Barry, you could be so powerful. So powerful. everything on this one I think yep I have enough for one more physical defense plus 10 when low HP low HP trade-off recover MP when receiving significant damage self-healing 50% boost with low HP significantly increase the effectiveness of healing spells cast on you with HP is 25% or lower uh Let's do that. What can we do for your light machine gun? Hmm. Hmm, I say. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Why not? Ooh, and we can upgrade some more on Cloud's end? Okay. What can I do for Cloud? What can I do for Cloud? Attack power, attack power. It's like they just want him to be a freaking warrior, so that's what we're gonna do, I guess. Nail bad. Oh my lord. This thing makes me laugh every time I even look at it. Even if I say the name, it makes me want to laugh at it. And we don't even have enough SP to do anything, so. Alright, guys. Well, this seems like a good spot to go ahead and end this today's episode. On the next episode, we are going to head into the Sector 7 slums, I believe, and check up on the bar, I guess? I don't know if it even survived. Bad. As far as I know, everything's destroyed, so... He's... And if there's anything That's all I know. Don't hesitate to ask. But, with all that being said, guys, hopefully you still enjoyed this episode. Definitely smack like on it if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you are new, and hit that little bell notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a video. Leave your thoughts and comments and suggestions and all the good jazz down in the comment section below. And with all that being said, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys on the next episode. It's been your host, Diesel. Deuces.